Parsons on the wing. Back to Nelson. Parsons attacking. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Lynn, no good from outside. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. Felton dishes to Nelson. Here's Aminu. And a miss there on the triple. Lakers trail by nine. It's Young on the wing. Wide open look. And the bank shot is good. Young's got eight. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Well, it's been a great pairing in Dallas between Monte Ellis and Dirk Nowitzki. As Dirk said, he's been amazing for us. He's so athletic, so fast. I knew he could score with the best of them, but the thing that surprised me is his playmaking off the pick and roll game. He makes my game a lot easier. Kevin, they make a great tandem. Yeah, working together, they're a nightmare to defend, Doris. Thank you. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together, one setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Nelson, the pass to Felton. Nelson outside. A rebound by the Lakers. Randall's got four rebounds now tonight. Henry with it. Al Farouk Camino covering. It's Davis with the drop. Well, Ed Davis in his fifth season out of North Carolina. He's had to battle for minutes both in Toronto and Memphis, but has produced when he's been on the court. An active, athletic big man. He's a player to watch. Two shots. Free throw good, Davis. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Randall. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Wright. Novitsky comes in for Chandler Parsons. Monte Ellis checked in for Raymond Felton. And Harris subbed in for Nelson. Harris outside. There's the dish to Chandler. Passes it to Ellis. Right through the D for the layup. Ellis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. And on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Here's Henry. Back to Lynn. Here's the three. Count the bucket. Lynn's got five points now in the quarter. That was some skill there. Nice use of the bounce pass. Harris against Land. Harris kicks to Chandler. Dallas moving it around. Out to the right wing. Lynn against Harris. The feed to Ellis. Tries again. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. And that's now six points for Monte Ellis. Lakers trail by six. Here's Lynn. He's coming off a 22-point game against Oklahoma City. Here's Henry. He's guarded by Ellis. Here's Lynn. Again, the Lakers. His shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. Now Ellis. He's coming off a 31-point game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. He put a lot of pressure on his opponent defensively, too. He had three steals in that game. And it's Harris off the drive. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Just absolute domination in this one for Chan. He has eight points and also an assist. This is his first free throw of the game. That's good from Chandler. And the Lakers making a change here. Ryan's checked in. Chandler hits them both. L.A. has gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Outside, Lynn. Hill sets the screen for Lynn. 
the 11 footer and with that the Maverick lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Young. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Harris dishes to Nowitzki. Nowitzki lifts up and it falls over the rim and in. Nowitzki's got 10. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. Timeout called the Lakers. You wonder when you look back at it, just how significant a win Dirk had when he was able to get his championship ring. Wesley Johnson's checked in for the Lakers. Let's highlight the shooting guard position now and see which among them have averaged the most points in the second half of the season. Number one, Kobe Bryant. And, of course, Monte Ellis. Lakers trail by six. Guys, you can tell how much it meant to Davitsky to win that 2011 title. Validation and winning again. Really now his motivation as he continues to play. Well, he said at this age, for him to keep playing at a high level, it takes tremendous dedication year-round. I mean, he needs to feel that they can contend to keep himself going. Pulls up on the wing. Johnson against Ellis. Six to shoot. And here's Kobe from the arc. The Mavericks pull it in. Nowitzki's got four rebounds in this game. There's the foul. It'll go on Ed Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Loser, he's checked in for Davis. A chance here to take a look at where the Mavericks rank in the NBA currently. Fourth in scoring. Fourth in assists. Right, they're in the top the third in the league in blocks. Boys, they're a team that really doesn't give many good looks. And what impresses me most out of all those numbers you just talked about, Clark, is the points per game because this is a team that has become very difficult to cover. They really cut hard. They set good screens. They get great ball movement. And because of the unselfishness and the floor spacing, they seem to get wide open shots time after time. And checking out some numbers for Ellis. They've gotten some big time performances from him since the All-Star break. He's putting up about 20 points per game, two and a half steals, and four assists. And when you think about the sorts of plays he makes on the ball, defending, using those quick hands to take the ball away, yeah. generating offense in transition, I think it's one of the key ways he injects his presence on the floor. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the game summary, and he's right there with two, three, maybe four steals, usually that counts for several buckets on the other end with three possessions leading to hoops. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound, and once he gets his hands on it, you know it's going back up and back in. Lynn kicks to Kobe. It's hauled in by Harris. Mavericks leading by four. to Nowitzki. Aminu with a screen for Ellis. Ellis right side. Kobe with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Lynn's got it. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. They get Devin Harris. Well, Jeremy Lynn in this one. He has 12 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two. Jeremy Lin really an attack guard. Quick and aggressive, always looking to penetrate and get into the paint. And Lin has really become an explosive athlete. He's put in a lot of work during the offseason to develop his strength and acceleration on a different level now than when he entered the league out of Harvard, for sure. Now here is Harris. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Nowitzki, the pass to Ellis. Shot clock at six, and it's Harris off the drive. Harris, right side, goes up again from 12 feet out. No good off the front iron. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. And for Lynn, like a lot of slashers, Steve, turnovers have been an issue. Yeah, that aggressiveness can work against him where, you know, sometimes he over-penetrates. He's watching a lot of film, trying to learn that balance of when to pass and when to take it all the way to the rim. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Lynn's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. 
Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. Back to Ellis. Launches it. That's good. Ellis has got nine points. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Lynn dishes to Johnson. And here's Kobe from the arc. That drops. He's got 13. Oh, oh, oh. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Now here is Harris. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Ellis kicks to Nowitzki. And he gets it to go. And the Mavericks lead by two. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Los Angeles has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Outside, Kobe. Back to Lynn. Hill a screen on Harris. Lynn's shot is off. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Harris kicks to Ellis. The rebound by Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Lynn with it, picked up by Ellis. Lynn against Ellis, 14 feet away. Lynn's shot is off. The Mavericks shooting 47% from the floor since the end of the first quarter. Over in the corner, Ellis. Back to Harris. Pass to Aminu. Lynn against Harris. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Kobe Bryant with a two-year extension worth almost $50 million, Steve, highest paid in the NBA. You know, a lot of people, Kevin, thought he should have taken a big cut. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, he, you know, he's earned every penny he's made and then some. Uh, the big thing now is can you build around him, particularly at, at the stage in his career where you know, his best years are behind him. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out for the Lakers. Mavericks making a switch here. Brandon Wright's checked in for Chandler. Parsons comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for Monte Ellis. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Devin Harris. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. When people talk about the money that Kobe's making, but when you look at his value to the Lakers as a marquee player, whether in tickets or merchandising, I mean, he more than justifies that top dollar. And that's before you talk about his great legacy with the team. So I think his salary is a moot point. And the Lakers with another miss. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Here's Nelson. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Nelson's got four points now in the quarter. And here is Lynn. 16 points for him. Hill sets the screen for Lynn in low to Hill. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. Lynn's got three assists now in this one. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Well, Tyson coming off the loss in the...